Well, one of the benefits of working at home is that you can warm up any way you want. So here I am in the first week of back working out and uh, here's a shoulder and uh, tricep and leg workout. So uh, it's, it's actually about the second week actually and uh, I'm just taking my time still but I'm working my way back into legs. You know, So I've done some squat workouts but uh, this is the first day that I'll be doing a one-legged squat workout. Uh, but what I'll be doing is just showing you some of the footage here. I'll try to shut up most of it and uh, just let you enjoy. All right. As you can see, I experiment with different ranges of motion. Yeah, I'm locking out at the top just, just for fun. But ultimately, I always go back to the partial constant tension rep where I just feel purely front delt. And of course, that's also because, you know, my uh, uh, instability in my shoulders and stuff, when I come up all the way, it feels like more about, uh, you know, my labrum starts to become unstable and things, and it doesn't actually work my shoulder any harder. I don't get more of a muscular burn from it or a pump. So uh, that's why I don't uh, lock out at the top. Uh, but I have found over the years that... Uh, even before my injury uh, from hockey, it, I never really did like to lock out. It didn't seem to really do any more uh, good for my delt uh, progress. So yeah, as you can see, I've done about four or five sets of uh, shoulder press. I didn't show all the footage here. And then I went to uh, rear delts, or I mean side delts, sorry, and doing about three or four sets of that. Of course, I'm not showing you all the footage because it gets quite boring if you see everything. But uh, yeah, I'm just giving you an idea of kind of where the workouts are at right now. So from shoulders, I just move on over to triceps. I do about uh, four to five sets of just skull crushers. So, you know, uh, at, at home, there's not as many variations. Sometimes I like to do uh, chair dips and that sort of thing. But uh, a lot of times I just stick to the standard skull crusher, you know. Uh, my whole point is to get about th three to six sets of each body part. And for shoulders, I actually went above that. I went about eight to nine sets. And uh, then I'll do about uh, four or five for legs. So it's about getting all three body parts in. It's not about uh, getting a high volume workout in. And that's usually the way I train. So I know it looks like I'm doing uh, sets back to back here, but that's just because of editing. Uh, but usually I take about a minute to a minute and a half in between sets uh, with small body parts. Uh, usually a minute is enough, sometimes even 45 seconds. Uh, but it just depends on how I feel that day or not. But with the bigger body parts like squats and lunges and, uh, you know, doing the bigger lifts and things, I tend to take a longer rest as a general rule. Uh, not always, but gen generally speaking, that's what I do. This is 
is my latest art project. I uh, just finished this a little while ago, but I've made it available on t-shirts and uh, merchandise and things, and you can click the link down below if you're interested. Uh, I'll be getting one of these shirts pretty soon, actually, so you'll see me wearing it in a video. Now back to your regular scheduled program. Uh, so here I am doing legs. I'm finished triceps and, and shoulders there, so now I'm just going to do some one-legged squats. And, you know, this is the sweet spot, spot for me for one-legged squats, right? So as you notice, the motion isn't forward and back. You know, some people want to lock that knee. They want to straighten the leg all the way so they get more quadricep involvement. But I don't do the movement for that. I do the movement to stabilize on one leg, which is mostly the front leg. That's where I keep all the weight, or most of the weight anyway. And I push uh, up as far as my, uh, you know, hip extension can take me as long as I'm uh, keeping the, the back arched. And I also don't want to pick up my back foot and move forward with the movement. Now, when I do this movement on a Smith machine, uh, when I have a Smith machine that's decent and, and available, because right now the one that I'm using at the other gym is, I don't, I don't really like it, there's too much tension on it, uh, too much friction, uh, then that's great because then you can really kind of pull that back leg off the floor and uh, get that really good glute squeeze at the top. It's just killer for the butt and everything, so it's a, it's a great movement. Uh, but I find this variation works great too. So I did about uh, three or four sets with one plate, and then I just went up to 225 because this is my first time uh, one-legged squatting in a long time. So uh, yeah, I just figured I'd show you this movement and uh, you can get an idea. of This is, you know, a way that I maintain a lot of my leg strength, especially when my lower back is not feeling right. Uh, of course, I'm doing this today, not because my lower back's feeling bad, but just out of uh, variety. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. And let me know in the comments down below what you want to see in the next video.